with you and I'll see you tomorrow night, same time, same place. Welcome to the Monday Night Show. My name is Adam Freeman. I can still smell all the garlic from the kitchen with the amazing Helen. Um, we have a big show planned for you this evening. Tonight, we're kind of turning the spotlight onto you and making sure that your 2018 can be as happy and healthy as is possible. Oh, Andrew, please, come and join me. <laughs> I was wondering where you went. I'm carrying my tea out here. Where's Adam? I hear his voice, but I, I don't know where he is. This is perfect. Well, they said you should start over here because nobody ever sees look, this bit. Look how pretty this is. Look now, what pretty. setting is this, Andrew? I think this looks like the mountains in Colorado. It does look like the mountains oh, of color. My microphone's not on. <laughs> That's the, just shout louder. <laughs> you, you probably turned it off. This is your show, not mine. <laughs> They're gonna come and turn your mic on. Okay. I, I'll okay. fill for a bit, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, that wasn't how we rehearsed it, but it turned out so much better. Um, if you are joining us live for the first time and you've never ever seen one of Andrew's Monday Night Show takeovers, these are a blast because we get to cover an extraordinary amount of ground. Um, and, and we kind of, I mean, Andrew, tonight... I, I forgot, I had a long list of questions. I forgot them. I just looked at the top of the list and there was a, a question about gum health and dental health and things like that. We'll talk about CoQ10 later in the hour. Really commonly asked question. You don't need a special formula for gum health. The best thing you can do is all your things for oral hygiene, but CoQ10 is the best ingredient for oral health. And there's so many of you that yep. did ask questions, and of course, we'll take some phone calls as well this evening. Holly. This is so, I mean, it's one of those times, Andrew, where I think, because on the Today Special visit, you have so much to get through with those it's, offers. Well, the Today Special, we focus on the most popular products, and, and what I try to do is focus on the information, because it's not about, if it was just about selling the product, we could have it on for five minutes and be done. But what it's really about for me is spending, I try to spend a third of the time on the science, on the research, a third of the time going over reviews, and then a third of the time dealing with the most common questions about that product. So that's how I try to divide it up, um, which means we don't really have time to talk about other products because we try to spend 30, 35 minutes on a Today Special. Right. So it doesn't leave a lot of time if we do two airings in a two hour block of that Today Special. There's so many wonderful things to discover on the website when you search Andrew Lesman. So we will cover so much ground tonight. Andrew, I have heard you say in virtually uh, every visit that I'm with you that sleep is one of the very foundations of a quality life. Well, without question. Um, whether we consciously think it's important to a quality life or not, it's, it's vital to our brain. Yes. The, what our brain does when we sleep, that unconscious process that is going on in our brain, even dreaming is part of that process. The healing, the rewiring, the, the brain when we go to sleep, the entire body when we go, go to sleep, there is, it's, we kind of think when we go to sleep, our body doesn't work anymore. Gosh, that's when our body really goes to work to take care of ourselves so we can face the next day with all our faculties and all our capacities at 100%. Unfortunately, our days nowadays are so challenging, are so full, are so stimulating emotionally, professionally, personally, otherwise, that it's hard to ramp down. It's hard to, it's hard to find that relaxed state that our brain normally goes to sleep. For me, the easiest thing for me, no matter how busy my day is, uh, and my mom has always commented that she marvels that as a child, whether it was as a child, I could be running around like a lunatic, put my head on the pillow and I'm gone. Really? And, and even today I could be on the phone doing whatever and I put my head on the pillow, much to Muriel's dismay, and <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> and so it's, and for me sometimes just reading a book. And one of the bad things about for me, reading a book is that the book by my bedside, it takes me a year to get through it because I fall asleep after reading one page. My point is we can all find behaviors that are relaxing. Don't watch TV in your bed, I hate to say it. Don't have an electronic device right in front of your face that's stimulating. I find if I read an electronic device book, I could read 10, 20 pages and I won't be sleepy. If I look at a real book, in a page or two, I'm sleepy. So the trick is finding the things they call it sleep hygiene, creating the environment, finding the things that create a relaxing state because we need to find that relaxing state if we're gonna go to sleep. Going to sleep isn't a matter of flipping a switch. Going to sleep is a gradual physiologic process and we have to support that process. We've just all, with our crazy lives, forgotten it. And, and this product, not a drug, not a medicine, what this product endeavors to do is naturally provide you that soothing, relaxing 
state where you then reacquire the habits for sleep. I leave the drugs to others and they are habit forming and they cause a hangover. Uh, hopefully, if you work on sleep hygiene, no caffeine late in the day, eat the right amount of food at the right time to be conscious of what gives you a more relaxing uh, state of mind before you go to bed. If you need that helping hand, if there's just those nights where you do find it hard to switch off, it's been hard at work, it's been hard with the kids, it's been hard dealing with everyday life with the struggles that we go through, through. What nighttime has done for so many people is just help lull you into a comfortable, restorative night's sleep. Maybe you've never seen nighttime before. It is a product that is incredibly affordable, but so doggone effective with no worries about it being addictive or you, you can't live without it. If, if, if we've described you in any way, shape or form, if you're fed up with those restless nights, try nighttime. You know, you talk about a natural solution. Andrew, this is one of those solutions. And that's that's what it was designed to be. It was designed to be, we because it's a comprehensive formula, we don't use too much of any one ingredient. And that's really the intent behind the formula. It's not designed to, to knock you out. It's, it's designed to never give you a hangover, but just to provide a, a relaxing, soothing environment. If you really want to be knocked out, I mean, there's a whole long list of, <laughs> of medications you could talk to your doctors about, which I think are like Ambien and Lunesta. You mm -hmm. see, the, see the ads on TV all the time. And of course, there's the, the benzodiazepines, which are relaxing medications, like whatever, Valium or Xanax and things, which are horribly habit-forming. And also, they, they all affect brain chemistry and things, so you know, just follow your doctor's counsel and your doctor's advice, but the, those medications, these every, they might, their commercials might seem very light and airy-fairy and sweet and beautiful images, but they're serious medications that have serious effects and serious side effects. So. We should do our very best naturally, whether it's how, what we eat, what we do, caffeine, there's all sorts of things. Again, just go online and look up sleep hygiene, yeah. um, keeping a sleep diary. There's things we could do if we really focus on sleep and give it the thought that it requires. It's so important to the quality of our life. You can't have a quality day without a good quality night's sleep. So if we give it the attention it deserves in a calm, relaxed, soothing fashion, I think it will, if you patiently do so, it'll return the benefits. I'd love to make mention as well of um, melatonin, which is something else that a lot of people ask about. Where does this come in? Just on its own. We have melatonin in the nighttime. But some folks just want melatonin on its own. And for many folks, they, they look at melatonin not even just for sleep. They'll take it at night, but they also take it as a protective antioxidant because it does have antioxidant roles in the body. So role in the body. So it's something that melatonin, obviously an extremely, extremely affordable product. So it's something that if if you just want Mother Nature's natural tools for creating a, a wonderful, relaxing night's sleep. It's nighttime with melatonin and other botanicals, or it's melatonin on its own. So with that in mind, if you're looking for nighttime or melatonin, they are available, of course, online at hsn.com, where you can call us. What we don't spend a lot of time doing tonight is certainly going through prices, but please know there are special pricing all the way through. So we're gonna head over this way to talk about something that I know, Andrew, you oh. certainly have put a lot into, which is the world's greatest, the world's finest, the world's world's best ultimate whey protein. Yeah, there's, we, we looked at doing whey protein for a number of years and probably more than a decade. And all of the whey protein sources I was looking at, unfortunately, they all contain soy. Right. And, and the reason why whey protein is important for, because for many people, I happen to like soy protein, especially for weight loss, mm. but for many people, soy is a problem. So whether it's al allergic problems or things like that. So we were trying to do a whey protein isolate. It was hard to find a whey protein isolate that was soluble. Uh, and, and also, I had a long, I'm like the nightmare for any dairy when it would come to finding a whey protein. I say, okay, it has to be fat free, has to be carb free, right. has to be sugar free, has to be cholesterol free, um, and it has to have, be taste neutral, it has to be highly soluble, and they can't use soy as a solubilizing wow. agent, which all of those that you put that shopping list, that wish list, basically for a couple of decades, that meant I had no whey protein. <laughs> so, but eventually, eventually, and, and this is just probably about three years ago, eventually we were able to have a specific 
whey protein made for us that met all of those characteristics. If you look at this, this chart here, um, and it's, it's quite an impressive accomplishment. So each scoop is 10 grams of pure whey protein isolate. Um, you don't want the concentrate, you want the isolate. If you get the concentrate, you're getting fat, you're getting saturated fat, you're getting cholesterol, carbohydrates, sugars, lactose, you don't want that. Right. Um, especially this whey protein, even if you're lactose intolerant, I recommend trying a small amount of it just to be sure. But we've gotten tons of reviews, many reviews from folks who are lactose intolerant. This causes no problems at all because there's only traces, barely measurable traces right. of lactose. So uh, as I said, no fat, no trans fat, no saturated fat, no cholesterol, no carbohydrate, no sugar, which for most people who are looking at uh, higher protein diets, the last thing you want in your protein supplement is sugar and carb. Right. You're trying to avoid that in your diet, you don't want it in your protein supplement. Low sodium, no added soy, unlike most sources of whey protein, uh, no flavors, no sweeteners, no artificial ingredients. And bizarrely, it's soluble. Uh, and that's what we were able to do that's so unique. The way it's granulated makes, because typically, um, especially a product like this, that's pure protein, mm. when you're dealing with something that's pure protein, typically the last thing it's going to do is have any capacity, I'll even put two scoops, 20 grams. Okay. Um, it's gonna have any capacity, oops, at all to dissolve. But what you'll see is this is incredibly unique whey protein, you can already see it's dissolving. Typical whey protein, it's or typical protein at all, it would seem completely insoluble. And that's 20 grams of protein and about probably eight ounces of water, I think. So if I'm looking at the new year and wanting to be healthier, wanting to eat better, wanting to uh, reduce my you know, calorific intake in terms of the bad stuff, incorporating whey protein into a smoothie, just mixing it, um, this is going to help nurture a better lifestyle. Well, especially if you're exercising, um, maintaining your lean body mass. If you're reducing calories, maintaining your lean body mass is the key to, to maintaining that calorie burning in your body. So as we exercise, of course, we burn calories. When we do exercise, we stimulate the creation of more muscle tissue, because especially for lifting weights and things like that, res resistance training. We need protein to make that muscle tissue. It's made of protein. So we need quality protein to accomplish that. So, and the more muscle tissue we have, the more fat we burn, the harder it is to gain fat. Again, that's why one of the keys to, I think one of the reasons, reasons throughout my lifetime that I've never tended to put on weight is because I always have maintained my lean body mass. So I might be significantly older than I was 30 or 40 years ago, but I still lift weights. I still, I love to do my aerobic training, my mountain biking and hiking and running and all of that. But I still maintain, I still do weight training, I right. still do resistance training to maintain that muscle mass because that muscle mass, that's where we burn calories. If we don't have muscle mass, it dramatically reduces our calories, our calorie burning capacity, our ability to burn fat. So comparatively speaking, and I know there's only a few seconds left, but just to, to compare this product as an ultimate whey protein versus what I can get in a health food store, how would the comparison, how would they stock up now side you, by side? That chart I showed at the beginning, you won't find anything like it. And also, I believe this is our monthly special. It is, yeah. It's our monthly special. Yeah. But you won't find anything like it. And also, I just wanted to point out, I drank, is it? The, <laughs> I drank the, the 20 grams of, I went it's to the like gym. Iron Man. I went to the gym before I got here, so that's good. Um, <laughs> and I didn't, it was, it was funny, in the room, I didn't have time to do my protein, so it's good I did there it here. There you go, it's a plan. But you could see that that was just, with a spoon in a glass, 20 grams of protein and about eight or 10 ounces of water. Um, it just shows how remarkably soluble it is. You can mix it with a vegetable smoothie because it has no taste. When I drank that, it tastes like very, very dilute non-fat milk. So it has a little bit of a dairy flavor, but it has no lactose, no carb, no sugar, no fat, no cholesterol. So it truly is the perfect protein. And you're not gonna find anything like it. And even half a scoop at five grams of this is still a significant amount of the highest quality protein. If you'd like to order, um, of course, always available online. Or you can call us if you'd like to ask Andrew a question. It's 1-866-376-8255. Uh, we're gonna head over to a, an item which Last time we aired this one, one of our uh, Monday Night Show takeovers caused a huge stir. Andrew, there is obviously a lot of buzz around acetyl L-carnitine, and I can now finally say it, but your pricing, your quality, your customer has responded significantly no, to this. We have 
Um, and now we have a larger size, a 360 capsule size. We, <laughs> this wasn't, we don't have any charts or anything like that because this wasn't planned right. uh, to be in the show. But we were able to have a small inventory available. Wonderful. And acetyl L-carnitine, we, we added that to the Secure Today special the other day. Yep. Acetyl L-carnitine is the principal molecule, and it's appropriate to speak about after we just spoke about our whey protein. Mm. It's the principal molecule involved in fat burning in our body because fat is stored in our body, but obviously fat is not burned in the same place it's stored. It, it's burned in something called our mitochondria. It's sort of the little powerhouses in each cell. So each cell has thousands of mitochondria, but the fat has to be moved to the mitochondria. And in our body, everything that moves around is moved around purposefully. The molecule that moves fat to the part of the cell where it's burned is carnitine. And acetyl L-carnitine is an extra special form of carnitine because it also provides benefits to our brain because it could pass through the blood-brain barrier. Acetyl L-carnitine is a principal ingredient in our memory and brain formula. So we had very, very limited supply the last time. When I first introduced carnitine, it cost multiples of it was today of what it does today. So it's, it's nice to be able to have an ingredient that's so much more affordable, like CoQ10, than it was decades ago. And I will say, because, you know, really for the entire show, we are really good with everything we have. This is a very limited opportunity. It's yes. something special. It's something Andrew doesn't get to do all the time, so we're excited to do it. Andrew, your, your mindset in terms of the healthy mind and body, was it always like that? Or is this something that emerged uh, as you kind of got past the teenage years? Well, I, I think like all of us, um, as, as we age, we all, even in my profession doing what I do, we all tend to prioritize and think about things differently. Um, as I've gotten older, it's less about how quickly I can run up a mountain or mountain bike up a mountain and, and really how well I can maintain just my ability to run for the next <laughs> 20 or 30 years and, and how well I can maintain my ability to, to, to manage the information because my job requires that I absorb and learn learn large amounts of information and be able to uh, <laughs> coherently <laughs> provide that information to you. It's, it's not necessarily an easy task. Um, it's something easy to do if my brain continues to function as it's functioned my entire life. But like anything, if we really want to maintain the gifts that we have or the faculties that we have, it requires a commitment to them. It requires that we, I always say, what do they say? Um, God helps those who help themselves. Right. Um, so the way I look at it is I want to make sure I help myself as much as possible. So I have the, the greatest opportunity to do what I love and do what I enjoy. And I think all of us have things that we love to do and enjoy, but it's, it's hard to enjoy life. And when we talk about acetyl L-carnitine, we could talk about its fat burning role, mm. or we could talk about its role in supporting the health of our brain and the function of our brain. And certainly it's hard to continue to enjoy a, a high quality, a great quality life if we feel as though our faculties are not remaining with us. So I think it's something that we should all attend to. Nothing we can do that's better for our mental factor, faculties than ex exercise, being active, well, even if it's just walking around. These are things that are just invaluable. Being at our ideal weight and being active. We think about that for cardiovascular risk and all of that, but, but it's the healthiest thing we can do for our brain. You know, I, doing um, the shows with you and seeing what goes into the different products, what's become very interesting to me is this idea that you, it's not about taking a chance. You simply flat out will not do anything unless there is an abundance of support to prove the effects it can have. Oh, yeah. And, and what's most evident in that regard isn't the product that's products that we've made. It's the products we've never made. Mm. Back in the days when all the supplement companies were making products with ephedra and ephedrine, I... I stood on TV and talked about it being dangerous and right. said I'd never make a product, no matter how many people would be willing to buy it, I won't do it. When Dr. Oz had everybody going crazy about green coffee bean extract mm -hmm. for weight loss, it's an interesting botanical, but not for weight loss, red raspberry, red raspberry ketone for weight loss, we were getting thousands and thousands of requests for it. I refused to make it. So the products that we make are products that have science. Um, the science on acetyl L-carnitine is incredibly straightforward because the, the very enzyme in your body that moves fat to the site where it's burned is called carnitine. 
acyl transferase, carnitine, the molecule we're talking about here, acyl meaning a fatty group, transferase, an enzyme that transfers something. So carnitine acyl transferase moves fats to the desired location. And, and what we're talking about here is acetyl L carnitine, a form of carnitine that's highly bioavailable and bioactive, and a form of carnitine that there's research on carnitine and its role in exercise capacity and, and fat burning in our body. So all of my products tend to be remarkably straightforward, and then we also make them in a fashion that rather than putting this in a rock hard tablet, uh, making it difficult to swallow and hard on your stomach, we just put it in a capsule. And it's an ultra fine powder in a capsule. And this carnitine is kind of weird. It's kind of a, a weird, fluffy ingredient. It's high, oh, it is. hard to encapsulate because it's highly hygroscopic. And in the humidity here, if we left it on the counter here, it would almost do something called deliquescing. Wow. Deliquescing means that something can absorb moisture out of the atmosphere and almost go into solution on its own. Huh. So it's interesting, but that's that's why this material is so hard to encapsulate because of that that weird fluffy property. It almost looks like uh, like small little snowflakes on the counter here. It really does. Yeah. It's fluffy, it's just like you said. Yeah. Well, um, we're racing along, we're moving along. If you'd like to order this one, fantastic opportunity for those yeah, of you that had emailed me about it as well. Very this limited. Um, Andrew, it, boy oh boy, uh, we were talking backstage about uh, friends and family members who seem to be struggling this time of year. I think a lot of us are facing just a wave of, of, of just colds and flus and everything else. No, it, it's, it's been a challenging, challenging season. Yeah. It's, it's yet another time. You know, one of the nicest things I like about, um, and we can't get obsessed about it, we can't get over, overly overwrought about it, but one of the nicer things I like about the activity monitors, it gives us accountabil accountability about our mm. sleep. Yeah. Because the key for me, and, and I'm sure many of you are like me, that the key to my immune system remaining strong, I could tolerate a lot of craziness and stress in my life. The key is still getting a good night's sleep. Mm. I talked about this the other day, that one of the hardest things for me is when Muriel's family's in Europe, when we travel to Europe, right. nine hours of jet lag, it, it's just, that's not good for How sleep. How many days does it's, it take for you to adjust? I find that within a few days, at least I'm sleeping normally. Within two or three days, I'm, I sleep pretty easily, I'm sleeping normally, okay. but not completely. For me to fully, fully adjust, we need to spend more than 10 days there. Wow. And wow. then when you read the research, for you to fully adjust with your digestive system and your biochemistry and your circadian rhythms, you're really talking about a month. Wow, so, I didn't know that. But my point basically is that our immune system is, is the victim of so many of the right. things that we encounter in our lives. And, and so what I, as opposed to companies will talk about their supplements being a cure or treatment prevention for colds and flu, that's silliness. Nothing is further from the truth. All we can do in terms of dealing with this time of year is focus on the quality of our sleep, focus on what we're eating, being adequately hydrated, making sure that we're paying attention if we're around people who might have things, and if that's the case, keeping sort of a healthy distance, washing our hands, just being conscious and being conscientious. That's all we can do. And the only thing we've done with this product, and it's virtually a perfectly reviewed product, is we, in a very straightforward fashion, put the nutrients and the botanicals, the plant-based ingredients that have been associated in studies with supporting and promoting a healthy immune system. That's all we can do, that's all you can do. So hopefully, we, we have a little conspiracy of our own to make a, a less fruitful environment right. for those viruses and bugs by getting adequate, adequate sleep, by eating a little bit better. I really try to make an effort you know, in the, the, this, the latter part of the year, especially for me, I know in, in January, in December and January, I have a show at the beginning of January, I have shows, in, uh, shows at the beginning of December, and then I have shows at the beginning of January, and I've done this for, I think it's now 27, 28 years. Right. And I, I said this the other day, how did I manage to never be sick this time of year? <laughs> I just, it's I have amazing. no clue. I just was very, very fortunate and blessed that it worked out that way. But not just fortunate and blessed, but that's the time of year where I tell my friends, nope, 
I have to go to bed early. Right. It's, you know, my shows are a couple of weeks away. I have to pay, behave and pay attention. And I think it just is a testament or underscores that if we do pay attention, we can mo mostly kind of dodge the bullet if we pay attention and support our immune system. If you would like to help support your immune system and give it really as much of a fighting chance as we can, you know, Immune Factors is a product that for several years now has been so consistently highly reviewed as really helping. So, you know, it, it's about taking those little steps, the little things that we can do to help make a difference and that's what this is doing you know this is a time of year when we are thinking about goals we're thinking about plans um, Andrew what's funny about this product if someone asked me in advance which would be a, a product that is almost like 97 98 percent positive mm. reviews that it's I think rated 4.8 stars um, I wouldn't have guessed this. You wouldn't? No, I agree. Not because it isn't a great product, but I think a product like this people will judge really harshly. <laughs> so, and I'm, I'm of course, the, the, the victim or the beneficiary of everyone's perspective, but I, I think it just goes to show that it, it's just a very straightforward product and it's incredibly comprehensive. You get high levels of vitamin C, which is where everyone's immune support starts. You get all the appropriate B vitamins, and then you get the most important botanicals, but all profit properly and perfectly standardized to get the maximum benefits. How many per day, one per day? I, what's funny, I, I don't take this every day. Okay. I only take this, I spoke about this the other day with Colleen, that I only take this when I know I'm not getting adequate sleep, right. when I know I'm getting challenges to my immune system, that's when I take this. And what I'll usually take is a couple a day. Okay. And, uh, and if I felt I was coming down with something, you know, I also take a couple a day simply because I want to support my immune system because that's how we deal with those sorts of things. This is not a cure or treatment, but our immune system is the treatment. So we want to do everything we can to support our immune system. And I'll admit, I've been late to the party on this one. You know, every time I'm on with Andrew, I, we go through so many products and I learn a little bit more each time. Um, if we you, don't talk about this all, that, we don't, that often. We don't, yeah. and I think that's how I missed it. And maybe you were the same and you didn't even know this existed. This is a chance to get it. By the way, the, the flowers on, on the front of that, yes. that's, that's echinacea. Oh, okay. That's, that's even in, in Colorado, you see echinacea all over the place that's beautiful. Um, in the summer. It's a beautiful flower. Yeah. We're going to head over this one. As we do, Andre, I wanted to ask you because this year on HSN, this month on HSN, we've been talking a lot about goals and uh, people's steps that they're taking to help realize their dreams. When you started back in 1979, and you've said it was uh, in Santa Monica, right? Yeah. On day one, when you walked into the office, into the building, I, uh, and you were starting to make these vitamins, what was in your mind? What did you see as the future for this company? Well, in 1979, I was using someone else's facility to manufacture vitamins. Ah. I couldn't even afford to have my own facility, so I basically made a trade with someone. I was doing, I was doing seminars for doctors on their behalf. They made supplements, and in return, I got to use their equipment to make my own vitamins. Oh, so the only thing I wanted to do was make vitamins for me. Uh, never in, in a million years did I dream I would be here. Never in a million now years. Now, you were how old, if you don't mind me asking, when, when, that, <laughs> <laughs> when you I took was, that step? I was, I was in my 20s. I was in my 20s. But you were also training to be a... a, a I was at that time, I was running track and field. I was training for decathlon. Wow. The, 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 well, I was going to say the, the Bruce Jenner, but no longer Bruce Jenner Indeed. type thing, yes. That's good. <laughs> That's the 10 events. I won't be following in his footsteps in that regard. <laughs> Very, I, didn't, I didn't win a gold medal, and I won't be following his footsteps. Very in current regard. affairs. We yes. cover all topics so, here on yes. the Monday Night Show. Um, okay, we're going to quickly introduce what He's this a, is. By the way, an incredibly, Have incredibly you? nice guy. Uh, well, a you nice, can tell from nice, the interviews. Nice you really woman can. now, but yes. A, you know, a, a special yes. people, a person yep. who's really encouraged a lot of folks. Always very, very gracious to me when I was very young. Yep. And Great inspired yep. a lot of people. Yep. Uh, we're going to introduce this very next product, and then we're going to head out to the phones. Andrew, you know I can, uh, you know, I can steal the limelight from you on this one because this product has helped me so tremendously. For anybody that's never tried Ultimate Friendly Flora, what is it? Ultimate Friendly Flora is our most potent source of probiotics. The friendly flora that, unbeknownst to most of us, outnumber us. And, and I, I say outnumber us because we have trillions of cells in our body. 
but the organisms, the friendly organisms, these are not bad bacteria. <coughs> these are friendly organisms that are responsible for our, the healthy functioning of our immune system, the healthy functioning of our digestive system, regularity, absorption of nutri nutrients and nutrition. They are a barrier to the unfriendly organisms getting in our body. That's why our, our friendly flora populate our mouth, our nose, our mm. digestive system. So, it, but what's fascinating is the, the number of cells in our body being trillions is, is, is a bit daunting of a number. I believe that a normal healthy person has something in the neighborhood of a hundred trillion friendly flora organisms. Wow. So, so they literally outnumber us and that vast number underscores the incredible role and the important role they play in terms of our digestive health and our immune system health. Let's go to Texas and say a very good evening to oh, Linda. Linda, welcome to the Monday Night Show. Linda, you're live with Andrew. Hi there, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you, Linda? Uh, great. Uh, I was wondering, there's some companies that sell vitamins and they recommend you take them according to body weight. Do you consider that to be a factor or not? Uh, it depends upon what you're talking about. In, say, with a, a protein powder, yes, but when it, when it comes to something like a multivitamin, not necessarily. Uh, with vitamin D, it could be a slight factor, but more depending on body fat, not necessarily body weight meaning that the, the same person, you know, people could take, say, 2,000 or 3,000 IU of vitamin D, but if one of those people had more body fat, it's going to trap the vitamin D because it's a fat-soluble vitamin. But say if, if someone weighs 120 pounds versus 200 pounds, 200 milligrams of CoQ10 is still the same, that most of what determines the efficacy of these nutrients are, are the systems and organs in our body. And, and those roughly have the same requirements from a man to a woman. I've always said the specialization of formulas was just sort of an excuse for companies to sell more of their different formulas. But when you're talking about foundational supplementation, these are not drugs or medicines. And certainly with drugs or medicine, then you have to start thinking about dosage and weight. But it's, but it's not the case with supplements. Perfect example is my circulation vein support. Even in the research, and certainly when you read the reviews, two capsules works well for everyone. You don't have to take more. It, it might be an excuse for certain companies to recommend that people take more of their products, but I haven't seen sufficient science to warrant that kind of recommendation. So the, the recommendation on the bottle is, is generally sufficient for everyone who's going to consider using it. That's great to know. Thanks a lot. Sure, sure. You're welcome, Linda. Thank you, Linda. Bye -bye. Thank you for taking the time. It's, it, a gr it's a great question because I think so many of us encounter that when we might be dealing with other products or pharmaceuticals or things like that, that we assume that uh, a one-a-day vitamin for one person, maybe right. if they, if, uh, you know, say, say Muriel weighs significantly less than me right. um, or someone, you know, I'm sure there are people out there, women out there who weigh almost half of, a little more than half of what I weigh, but they're still going to take roughly the same levels of CoQ10, vitamin D, so there, there's no reason to think that we should have it if we weigh half as much. Uh, we're going to head along. If you'd like to order the Ultimate Friendly Flora, again, very special pricing. We're going to go talk about a product that we covered a little bit over the weekend. But, Andrew, you really started talking about turmeric a while ago. And it seems, again, it is certainly hot, hot, hot. Turmeric has a lot of things to it that make it valuable to us. No, I'm... I'm always proud of the fact, and, and, I, and I love being reminded of the fact by, by so many of you who have used our products that say you've been using my CoQ10 for 30 plus years. And CoQ10 was something that really only became fashionable about 10 or 15 years ago. Turmeric, 20, approximately 20 years we've had turmeric. It's only right now becoming extremely popular. Right. So, and what I th it, it underscores that the focus of what I do isn't to watch out in the marketplace what products are selling. The focus of what I do is watch what's most interesting and important in the scientific literature. And once we see it in the scientific literature, then it becomes more complicated because we have to figure out how we could replicate, how we could copy the scientific literature in a formula for you. Because then we have to validate it, make sure it's going to work. But turmeric is something that it's first, the typical turmeric spice is about 1% to 3% curcuminoids. So the beneficial compounds in turmeric spice are only at about 1% to 3%. Uh, in India, they use lots of turmeric, so they still get an abundance of curcuminoids. The standardization of the curcuminoids in my product is 95% 
So basically, that's somewhere between 30 to 90 times more. Right. So much higher than typical turmeric spice, which in the future, I'm hoping to make a turmeric spice that you'd use at home oh, great. that has higher levels. That would be like 20 or 25 percent. So you get a bit of a benefit of a supplement when you're even using it as a spice. But what we also have to do, when you, took, when you cook with turmeric, you accomplish what we had to do in this formula. We had to complex the turmeric, the curcuminoids, with fat. Because when you complex them with fat, you overcome turmeric's inherent non-absorbability. <laughs> turmeric is a great spice, you taste it, it's wonderful, right. but going through your digestive system, it's inherently not well absorbed. So in terms of your body systemically, you'll taste it, it tastes great, but you won't benefit systemically. It won't get distributed throughout your body because it won't be absorbed. But if you do what they do in India and Asia, when they cook with it, they complex it with fat. When they naturally use it to cook, it becomes absorbable. So that's basically, we took a page out of a, an Asian Indian cookbook <laughs> and we complexed it with fat, an important fat, phosphatidylcholine, the most important phospholipid for our liver and brain. So we complexed it with that and it increased its, increased its absorption by about 30 fold, 30 times more absorbable. There's such a strong interest in turmeric and if you've been intrigued to buy it, obviously knowing Andrew and knowing the other things you bought from Andrew, this would be a great place to go. And it's, and again, it's, it's a small, easy to swallow capsule. It's the beautiful natural color. Yeah. But what's, what's also great about turmeric is it will not, it, it might Look be a spice. And you could see kind of like the ALC, the turmeric, it, it is kind of, you'll see on my hand, kind of sticky. Look. And that's because we complexed it with fat. But my fingers are now going to be bright orange because <laughs> turmeric is that it, it was not just a wonderful spice in Asia, but it was used for as a, as a, as a dye, as a colorant for clothing. If you think of the, the, um, the beautiful orange, say, um, Buddhist robes or Hindu robes, yeah. I guess, that they will be that, that wonderful, orange, wonderful orange color. Let's go to Connecticut and say good oh, evening cool. to as Andrew tries to get it off. <laughs> no, it's great. It's Joanne, healthy. welcome to the show, Joanne. You're live on the air with Andrew. Hi, Andrew, and how are you? I'm great, Joanne. How are you doing? Very well. Um, thank you. Um, I have a question about whether you feel there are certain vitamins that are better to take or more recommended to take in the morning versus nighttime. Um, more so like the vein and leg support, is it best to take that at night? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, circulation vein support can be taken any time of the day. Some folks will split up one capsule in the morning and one capsule in the evening. Um, with most vitamins, what I say is it's the best to take them when you'll be, as they say with the medicine, when you're most compliant, when you're most likely to be consistent. For me, that tends to be morning and afternoon. Certain, certain vitamins are great to take in the evening just if you look at their activity. A lot of folks want to take circulation vein support at night because they feel uh, sometimes they have issues with their legs and restless legs and heavy legs and things like oh, yeah, that no, I don't that have might that, but interfere yeah, I just or, maybe it would work better. or cramping. Uh, it doesn't necessarily work better at night. Um, some folks take calcium magnesium at night because okay. it tends to be soothing and relaxing for the nervous system, also for the musculature, so it might reduce the likelihood of cramping and things like that. A lot of folks won't take B vitamins at night because some people find them to be a little bit neurostimulatory. I do not, and that's a real uh, small percentage of folks who have that issue with B vitamins. So the best advice I could give is always take your supplements with food, not because they might upset your stomach, because mine do not. No, they don't at all. <laughs> but because I take they're everything in the morning, actually. Because they're better absorbed. Yeah. When you eat food, think of how our bodies were designed. Our bodies were designed to absorb these nutrients in the presence of food, so it's great to take them with food. So, um, so I guess what I, the, the real important thing, the most important thing, is take them in a fashion that works best for you, where you'll get to use them most consistently, and that's when you get the best results. Great question. And, and if I could just ask one more quick sure. question. Sure, as many um, as you like. <laughs> I have a 11-year-old French bulldog. Right. Oh. Yeah, and uh, adorable dogs. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> and uh, I give him right now omega three, and not every day, but like every other day, right. I'll, I'll squeeze a tablet and I just you know let him look at, it and he he loves it. Right. And I'll I'll put the marine collagen peptides, which I love. Wow. Yep. Is my favorite in his uh, water bowl. So do I. I do the and, same for for Lincoln and Marcel. Right, and because he is an older dog, my question is. 
Uh, do you plan on coming out with a line for animals, or, you know, is there certain ones that I can give him now for sure? Like, can I give him glucosamine? Can I give yes. him ultimate eye support? Yeah. I mean... I would imagine a French bulldog, what does he probably weigh, 15 to 20 pounds? Um, no, he's a little bit more than that. Okay. He's on um, <laughs> actually diet dog food right now. Right. <laughs> he's a well-fed dog. Well, we don't want to talk about his weight. It might embarrass him. <laughs> he so, loves to eat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's on the death. So. <laughs> so, but I would, I would. Uh, Lincoln gets a, a capsule. Lincoln weighs about 33 pounds, 34 pounds. Okay. He gets a capsule of glucosamine and chondroitin every day. I also every other day give him half a capsule in his food of the the ultimate eye because the real s systems that dogs have challenges with as they get older mm -hmm. tends to be their, their joints and tends to be their eyes. Um, How do you give a half a cap? Oh, I just open up a capsule and I just, uh, you can oh, twist okay. and open the capsule and, and I dump okay. it into his food, I close it back up and I take the other half myself. <laughs> right. Well, you're probably, yeah, you're probably good at that. Now. <laughs> <laughs> then I open them up, up here all the time. I practice. And, yeah, and yeah, also sure. I make the veggie paste. And, and I was going to say to Muriel when I got home, for us to do a video on the veggie paste. That would be great. That we make, for, that we put a tablespoon into their food each time, twice a day, a tablespoon in their food because that veggie paste is a concentrated source of the nutrients that are most important. So Systemically, but especially for their eyes. Um, so that's that's it's kale, spinach, a little bit of peas, and a little bit of blueberries. Uh, and it's just something we do. You can do it in a blender, food processor, and I put a tablespoon in each of their food, and I take a tablespoon for myself. So, <laughs> so just two times a day, you, you two soak. times a day, yes. And, oh, okay. And and that's something that really is wonderful for their vision and eyesight. Our you know our dogs are our our best 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 friends, yeah. and best it's really. Friend really up to us to, to do the best we can because they they live an accelerated lifespan and we really have to pay attention to making sure they have the tools to, to take care of themselves. So the glucosamine yeah. and chondroitin, that's okay to give? Yes, them? yes, oh, it, okay. it's right. it's a typical supplement that's offered by uh, veterinarians uh, and, and things all over the place. Unfortunately, like humans, they typically use glucosamine hydrochloride and a glucosamine hydrochloride isn't as well absorbed, isn't as well tolerated. It should be sulfate, it's just the hydrochloride's cheaper. But, you know, I, I, I love my little guy and I want him to get the most effective source so he gets glucosamine sulfate and chondroitin sulfate. And to answer your other question, I've always if I were smart, I would have made a line of pet supplements a decade ago. But I'm I'm busier than I am smart, so so we'll we're, we're going to try to get it done as quickly as we can. And ideally, what we would do is make it so it comes with a little measuring spoon, so you could just take the powder and put it. And it's going to be more economical that way. Take the powder and put it in your pet's food. Thank you, Joanne, so much. Wonderful questions. Thanks, we're, Joanne. We're going to head over this way. If you'd like to speak to Andrew, it is 1-866-376-8255. Andrew, I do believe, though, because, I mean, if I had a, a, a dollar for every time I've heard, not only folks from uh, outside of HSN, but people that work here even ask you about pet supplements. No, it's, it's funny. As I've said, if I was a really intelligent business person, I would have made a line of pet supplements a decade or so ago. Right. But, but I'm, I'm more focused on the science and the research and, and creating a new line of pet supplements, especially doing it properly, fo following all the regulations and yes. things, is, is, a, is a big process and a big step. Um, our, our current products will be the exact same raw materials as our pet supplements. Unlike others, I will not take shortcuts when it comes to our pets. And I would think or hope, and in fact, I know you would agree with me that if it's a glucosamine and chondroitin that's good enough for you, Let's, you might even want something better for your pets, <laughs> but there's nothing better. And the same with our eye supplement, the marine collagen, the omega-3. Those are the supplements that I've really focused on with, with Lincoln. Marcel's a little puppy, so he's just... How's he doing? He's, he's Marcel. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, Good answer. He's, he's the equivalent of his terrible twos. There they are. So that's Lincoln oh. on the left. That's Marcel. On the right, Marcel is, at that point, Marcel is probably just four months old. And they've bonded very much so. Oh, now. yeah. Lincoln, Lincoln thinks Marcel is his toy. <laughs> um, it's kind of if I, if I tell Lincoln to get his monkey or get his penguin, Lincoln knows the names of his toys. So he'll go to his, and I just ask him, uh, go get Marcel. He'll go get Marcel. Oh, so my he's, God. Uh, he just thinks Lincoln, Lincoln thinks Marcel is his. And Lincoln's a sheepdog, part sheepdog. So he truly herds Marcel all over the place. Well, there's yeah. lots of energy there, there's no doubt. And yes. maybe you wish you had all of that energy. Well, Andrew Lessman to the rescue with another one of the Hall of Famous, CoQ10. Yeah, uh, and with healthy hair, skin, and nails, circulation, vein support, uh, among our most popular 
reorder products and and I think reorders is what defines the I think the quality and the yes. popularity of a product because it has nothing to do with me talking about it but everything to do with how it performed once you got it home and, and CoQ10 in recent as important as it was when I introduced it introduced it 35 years ago as important as it was then it, it still took about 20 years before it caught on anywhere else but now it's become even more important because the medications and drugs we take, especially the cholesterol-lowering statin drugs, directly and, and dramatically diminish our levels of CoQ10, which directly and dramatically diminishes our capacity to produce energy and the capacity for our organs and systems to function their very best. So if you're taking cholesterol-lowering drugs, statin drugs, if you're taking even drugs for osteoporosis or osteopenia, or even drugs like antidepressants, and just by mentioning those um, classes of drugs, I think each of those classes of drugs, each one of them is probably larger than the entire supplement industry. I mean, it, it's, think just, about it's just uh, incredible the, the amount of people who are required to be using those medications. But we could all use those medications with an eye toward supporting the healthy systems in our body that those medications affect. And those medications affect the system in our body that manufactures what little CoQ10 we create internally. And as we get older, it's less and less. We take certain medications even less, and that's a, a scientific fact that, that statin drugs will lower the production of CoQ10 in your body. You know, one of the things that we did get to do over the weekend was to talk a lot about uh, reviews, and it's important that you know, because you can see it on our graphics, 3,200 five-star reviews. So I would ask anybody out there that maybe is even already a CoQ10. And, uh, and by the way, that's not out of like 10,000 reviews. I bet those 3,200 five-star reviews are out of barely 4,000, oh, not even 4,000 reviews, 3,800 oh, reviews. So what it means that over 80% of the reviews, well over 80% are five-star reviews. When you add in the, the four-star reviews, you're over 90%. So. so, I mean, you have to look at that and say, okay, that's an amazing number. We're going to head that's, over here because I think a it's crazy number, chocolate time. But Andrew, there's a lot of folks that do take CoQ10 and, and have taken a brand that they've had for many, many years. It's kind of hard because I always find myself trying to convert them to the Andrew Lessman brand. Right. If you compare yours versus theirs, there's no comparison. And, and what's somewhat of a disadvantage, um, what's interesting is our CoQ10 now, because it's probably about 90% less expensive than it right. was 35 years ago. Right. It's almost because it's affordable, people will dismiss it, that it needs to cost more to be better. And also, of course, our CoQ10 comes with a full, equivalent of a full separate non-acidic vitamin C. It also comes with a full B complex, including our unique orally absorbable B12, meaning B12 you can take orally that actually does get into your bloodstream and work for you. Well, we're excited yes, about this next one. Oh my, you talk about breakthroughs as something that Andrew loves to do. You're about to hear something that I don't think anybody ever thought would be possible. Andrew, you've created delicious no. gourmet chocolate that is actually healthier for in, you. In fact, even until we had accomplished this, I was still not sure it would work out. And, and the only reason it exists is because I've been doing what I do for so long that I remember to form a plant sterols, these FDA approved ingredients that lower cholesterol and lower cholesterol significantly. I remember to form, we don't have a little jar of it out here. I remember to form that it looks like fat. It's a plant sterile ester. It's actually very expensive. Oh, there it is. This is it. It's, it's actually expensive. It looks like fat, <laughs> but, it, but it is. It's, it's, it's shiny like fat. It's yeah. like, look at that. It's like so, slime. But that is, I had remembered that from a long time ago because our plant sterols are a fine powder. Plant sterile esters are about double the cost and they're about 60% about the potency. So it means they almost cost triple as much. But I thought that I could add those plant sterols to chocolate and maybe, just maybe, they would behave like the fat in milk fat when we make milk chocolate because milk chocolate is creamy. Uh, dark chocolate tends to be dry and brittle. Right. Milk chocolate is creamy. The milk fat makes it creamy. I thought maybe these plant sterile esters would perhaps behave a little bit like milk fat. Right. They didn't behave a little bit like milk fat. 
they behave better than milk fat, yet they don't deliver the calories of fat, they don't deliver fat. They're plant sterile esters. What do they do? They dramatically lower cholesterol. They lower your cholesterol, have one chocolate square with your two largest meals, say two squares a day, or have one square with each meal. They're only 26 calories and they'll lower your cholesterol 10, 15, 20% or more. If you make dietary changes, if you reduce saturated fat and cholesterol, add some fiber, you can get a significant reduction in cholesterol. And what I also wanted to point out, our chocolate is very unique. First of all, I sought the world over for a less bitter form of dark chocolate <laughs> that also delivered high levels of protective polyphenols, the protective compounds in chocolate. Our chocolate comes from South and Central America. All three, 66, 74, and 91, right. all come from South and Central America. And then, unlike typical chocolates that add significant amounts of sugar, our 66 has only 1.8 grams of sugar. Okay. That's basically a third of, about a third of a, a little less than a half a, tea, a teaspoon, what am I saying, half a teaspoon? A half a teaspoon is, I think, four grams. Yeah, so a little less than half a teaspoon. Um, our 74% is 1.4 grams, so it's about a third of a teaspoon, and our Choco Nuvo at 0.5 grams is, is a, a fraction of a teaspoon. Actually, we could label it a zero because it's less than half. Mm. But what I wanted to point out, that's 26 calories of each of our squares. If you look at 26 calories of grapes or peaches or plums or apples, pineapple, oranges, blueberries, kiwi, um, we think kiwi and blueberries, we think of them as being very low sugar fruits. Yeah. Yeah. They all contain double for 26 calories and they don't have the protective compounds of chocolate because chocolate has higher levels of antioxidants than any of these fruit, by the way. They have higher levels of antioxidants than green tea or red wine. Wow but they, they all have higher levels of sugar. But then if that's not impressive enough, if you compare our chocolate and its levels of sugar, if you have 26 calories of tomatoes or carrots or red peppers or green pepper, I think of green pepper or cucumbers as really low in sugar. Sure. I think of onions as, as low in sugar, cauliflower low in sugar. Yeah. All of them contain more sugar per 26 calories than our chocolate. You won't believe so, it. So what we've succeeded having here, we have a chocolate, that dark chocolate is the only chocolate to consume because it's the healthy one. Milk chocolate, unfortunately, doesn't have the high levels of protective compounds or protective polyphenols. Also has higher levels of sugar, also contains saturated fat and all the milk-related products. Ours is not milk, chocolate, it's organic and it's fair trade. And if you look at the most exotic chocolates in little squares, they cost more than mine. Yeah. And they don't contain our cholesterol lowering ingredient that makes our chocolate creamier, makes it less bitter, and it also makes it lower your cholesterol. So it's, there's nothing like this in the world, it actually. Is. It is truly one of my greatest Andrew Lessman discoveries is Choco Nouveau. It's chocolate. It's a chocolate you'll have with your cup of tea, a chocolate you'll have with your coffee, a chocolate you'll have for a late night treat. It is fantastic. The only thing that you might be thinking is, well, which do I get? Let me tell you. If you only like milk chocolate and you're a lightweight like I am <laughs> with chocolate, you're gonna choose what is the 66% cacao, okay? So the 66%. If you wanna go a little bit darker, go for the 74. Which is, which is classic dark is, is say 70% or so. Our 70%, you could find hundreds of re reviews that milk chocolate lovers love our 70%. And if you wanna go extreme, extreme dark chocolate, go with our 91, but most dark chocolate is dry and brittle. And, and as, you know, I'll break this one oh, here. God. As you can see, it, it it's shiny and it looks, even where I broke it, right. it doesn't look like typical dark chocolate, which would be kind of dry, brown and beige and be fragmented. It's, it's actually incredibly, incredibly oh, creamy. It's delicious. You gotta taste it though, because people will go to the gourmet store wow. in the mall, and spend a few dollars for chocolate like this, let me tell you. Dark chocolate doesn't melt in your mouth like this. No, no. And it will melt in your hands if you hold it. We're like just having a chocolate yeah. break. Don't mind us. Okay, I'm gonna bring my chocolate with me. Yum. I'll take a lot of chocolate. I'm very hungry. Bring um, it home with you. <laughs> you That's can, where they all keep going. No, you could pull a collie and she would... I'd be talking. <laughs> and she would open her purse. <laughs> Dump them all in. And dump things in her purse. <laughs> I think they stopped letting her bring the purse on the set. I need a man bag or a man purse out here. Oh boy, well, um, one of the things that we do have to talk about 
because it certainly is a, 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 a hot to topic, oh, heavily reviewed. What a good idea. <laughs> what did you do? I have mint tea here, and I just had the mint tea after I had the dark chocolate. Oh, you see. Now, now I know why people recommend having the dark chocolate with mint, <laughs> which a number of years ago we, we did samples of that. We were thinking of doing a, a mint and an orange version of the 74. You've got to do that. Yeah, with just using a, a natural, of course, a natural mint extract and a natural orange extract, we don't do anything. Have you ever had in your travels uh, to France and England the, the chocolate orange, the Terry's chocolate orange? Have you ever had I have one not. of those? Oh, I have I not. Do, you've got this. It's one of those popular things. That that's why they would do so well. Oh, okay. Anyway. Well, and I welcome, since you designed my products, I welcome your feedback on if there's a specific flavor. We often talked about having breaking up almonds or cashews or pecans mm. or walnuts, healthy nuts. So we'd have little pieces of healthy nuts in the chocolate as well because they're fibrous, they're great fatty acids, just they're associated with all sorts of health benefits. Well, talking of uh, fibrous, if we need to get more fiber in <laughs> our diet, we have the perfect solution. Andrew, Oops. is it a fair statement to say that we don't get enough fiber? Well, it's, it's, it's a sad statement and it's a true statement. Mm. If you look at the levels of fiber we get in America, uh, or the things we consider good sources of fiber, um, it's, it's remarkable. It's remarkable anyone in America actually goes to the bathroom when you look at the <laughs> levels of fiber that most of us consume. We're consuming processed food, packaged foods. Right. We're not eating a lot of things that, even salads, salads are great, but they're not a rich source of fiber. Nuts, seeds, legumes are a great source of fiber. Um, I'm not sure if I... If I wrote into this show, I think I did, our bean and veggie gas relief. We did. I think I did. Because that's something, a lot of us don't eat legumes like um, lentils, beans, uh, the chili, Mur Muriel's chili in the soup cookbook, or yep. her turkey chili is am amazing. But there's all sorts of great sources of fiber if we just shift away from the processed food and, and, and say, substitute some of our animal, pro animal product for plant-based product. It's not like I'm all of a sudden going to become a vegan or a vegetarian overnight, but I generally try to eat as much fruits, vegetables, beans, nuts, seeds, legumes as I possibly, possibly can. And, and regularity is something that is, is a critical part of a healthy digestive system, and a lifetime of not being regular is not a good risk factor for our digestive system. Fibromucil is just incredibly potent, but incredibly mild fiber. You won't find a more gentle or a more effective source of fiber. It makes our Choco Nuvo, it helps it lower your cholesterol even more effectively. But most importantly, if you've struggled with regularity, you will not find a fiber product like this. Just add one or two capsules with each meal um, and just and make sure you just have adequate fluid, adequate water, and, and I encourage you to read the reviews. This is a fiber product that is almost perfectly reviewed. I think it's 4.5 stars or thereabouts, 4.6 stars. Fabulous. Out of 1,011 reviews, it's 820. That means it's about 82, 83% uh, five-star reviews. And uh, when you add the four star, it, it basically takes it almost to 90%. For a fiber product, I mean, let's keep that in perspective, that fiber products are not usually things that people are lavishing praise on, but this is truly a unique product in terms of both its effectiveness, but also in terms of mildness, because most fiber products that might be effective are usually nasty to use, miserable to take, and uncomfortable. With that in mind, we're going to head over this way. Fiber Musil is available. Don't forget, all of these are special pricing think, right now. I think in two hours, we're going to go through something like, uh, <laughs> I think it's somewhere in the neighborhood of, what, 25 products, 24 products? There's a lot to cover. I think, I mean, we're, we're not even through the first hour yet. I feel like we've done like 20 different items. Um, this we haven't talked about. And I, I was just reminded of this because someone had asked me about it at the gym. Ginger. And because a lot of folks, a lot of folks take ginger to settle their stomach. A lot of folks take ginger because sort of it's mother nature's kind of nausea ingredient. Yes. A lot of folks take ginger this time of year for immune support. Muriel will, at home, she'll chop up um, fresh ginger root. She'll take ginger root like this. She'll chop it up and she'll put some cayenne pepper in as well, and some lemon, a fresh lemon, squeeze fresh lemon, and that's our sort of immune supportive tea at the house. So, and this is standard extract of ginger, so we specifically look to the compounds in ginger that give ginger its unique benefits. If you're somebody that has been wanting to see ginger, I've never had the chance to present this with Andrew, so this is an exciting uh, opportunity. If ginger is on your list, um, this is the time to do it. Andrew, uh, different ginger products out there, 
why would I choose an Andrew Lessman ginger? Well, it's, it's as easy as looking at this chart. Um, if you just look at this chart, that a typical ginger product is just going to say, you know, dried ginger root, or and, and it's not going necessarily say an extract, and it's not necessarily going to declare a standardization as this does here, which is 5% gingerols and 1.5% volatile oil. The gingerols are the beneficial compound that we seek in ginger extract. And typical ginger root, if you just took ginger root and dried it, right. it's not going to be at 5%. So it has to be further extracted and concentrated to deliver the higher levels of ginger oils as we have here. So there is a huge difference in terms of the benefits that you'll receive. There's a huge difference in, in most supplements on the market because a lot of supplements really don't focus on standardizing their extracts. So, and that's something that we'll cover a lot of over the course of um, our shows with Andrew because there are many, many differences. Andrew, you don't do anything by halves and when it comes to even the manufacture and the production of your vitamins, ginger or fiber muse or anything, it's all solar powered. All solar powered, all additive free. So meaning when I open up this capsule here, the only thing in this capsule is ginger, nothing else. So, so everything is made using solar power. The, the factory is in Nevada, in the high desert of Nevada, where humidity is low, I should probably say Nevada, where the humidity is low, so we don't have to use flowing agents and excipients and lubricants. It's, it's much harder to make products the way we do but our, our product line is the only product line in the world where all your, when you order a product, all you're getting are the ingredients you want. And this may be a silly question, Andrew, so forgive me in advance. You don't use these artificial...